Five Myths About Meditation Debunking these myths will allow you and others to enjoy the benefits of meditation without fear or stigma. 1. Meditation takes up too much time. One of the most common myths about meditation is that it takes up too much time and that you don't have enough time to meditate. In fact, this myth keeps many people from meditating because they assume they cannot fit meditating into their schedule. The truth of the matter is that meditation does take time, but everyone can do it. Just like any other task or action, meditation will require you to have a little time cut out for it. At the same time, though, meditation can fit into anyone's schedule. You just have to prioritize it. 2. Meditation is religious. A second common myth about meditation is that it is a religious or spiritual practice. This myth is partially true, but it does not have to be true for your practice. Your meditation is what you make it, and it is most important to make your meditation as comfortable for you as possible. Many religions incorporate meditation into their religious ritual. For example, some religions practice meditative yoga, while others pray. Both of these rituals are a form of meditations. If you are religious, feel free to incorporate your religious beliefs into your meditation. If you are not religious, that's fine too. Meditation can simply be used as a way to look beyond the clutter of your life to find stillness and peace within yourself. Many scientific studies support the benefits of all meditation, meaning that you don't have to connect yourself to a higher power for the meditation to be effective and personal. So meditation can be religious or non-religious. It depends on how you want to practice it. 3. Meditation is for the disciplined. Another myth about meditation is that it is only for people with strong self-discipline. Like the previous myth, this third myth is also partially true in that meditation is a form of self-discipline. It is a way to control your mind in order to escape from the clutter and noise around you. In this regard, meditation is for the disciplined because you must have a little bit of discipline in order to meditate. At the same time, though, you do not have to be extremely self-disciplined to meditate. You just have to be able to try to focus. You don't even have to be good at it. In fact, meditation is meant to help you get better. 4. Meditation is boring. The fourth myth about meditation is that it is boring. Many people think that meditation must involve sitting in silence while thinking and doing nothing. Though meditation can look like this, it does not have to. In fact, meditations can be very fun, engaging, and transformative. Some meditation techniques, for example, involve chanting or singing mantras and focusing your mind on said mantra. This form of meditation is the opposite of boring and involves a lot of sounds and sometimes movements. 5. You have to know how to meditate. Finally, the fifth myth about meditation is that you have to know how to meditate in order for it to be effective. This myth is the opposite of the truth. There is no one way to meditate. As a result, meditating is what you make it. Just do what feels right at the time and you're meditating correctly. There's nothing else to it.